I just got back from my P.O. box. Holy flipping cow. Y'all sent so many donations. Thank you guys so very much. So I'm going to bring all the donations in and then we're going to go dumpster diving. I did go dumpster diving the other day, but it was a bust. I found one dumpster that had stuff in it and I'll show you that in a second. But first, let me put this down because it's heavy. Everything has been brought in. Thank you all again so very much for your super sweet donations. This is everything I found in a five hour dive. You know, it, it happens, it is what it is, but hopefully today we have much better luck. Let's jump on in the ride, head on out to these dumpsters and do the dang thing. All right guys, first dumpster of the day. It's a DG. Pretty sure there's lots of stuff in these bags. And we got some cola jammers. I'm gonna set y'all up on the car. That way I don't make y'all busy. Oh I don't know what's all in here, but holy cow, it's heavy. I gotta get my bucket and throw stuff in. It's so heavy, I can't pick it up. here. Not too shabby for the first dumpster, guys. All right, peeps. We at Rite Aid. Let's see if there's any goodies. Oh, we got Kit Kats. Oh, look at all those Kit Kats. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm finding stuff. Oh man, this is the dumpster that hurts my butt cheek every dang time. I'm falling into the trash. Oh my gosh, that is a ton of Kit Kats. Oh, sorry, you guys are probably seeing my booty. <laughs> my bad. And the good news, they're not melted. It's starting to get hot out now. Oh my God, there's a whole nother thing on that one. Oh my gosh. Now that's a lot of Kit Kats. Ugh. I'm getting water in my shoe. Oh. Now my shoe's so. And the best part is they are in a package, but they're wrapped individually inside that package too, which is awesome. Holy freaking cow, guys. That is insanity. There's other stuff in the bottom of this box, guys. No freaking way. I'm going to wait to show it to you though. Just come. Well, this is exciting. Walgreens got their dumpster back now. Did they throw anything away in it? Let's find out. It's not looking like anything good. We got a bunch of hand sanitizer. I think there's stuff in those bags though. Only one way to find out. I'm gonna have to jump in and dig around. I found a whole bag filled with toilet paper, a whole case of these silver um, 
I don't know, tins. I don't know exactly what those are. We'll figure that out later, but I did get some food surface sanitizer and some antibacterial sanitizer. I guess because it expired. How can hand sanitizer expired? It's literally alcohol. I don't know. <laughs> we are at Rite Aid. Oh, ow. Smashed my arm into that. God dang, that hurt. Anyway, back to what we're here for. We got lots of Sprite, some Coke, some Dr. Pepper, and who knows what else. Hopefully y'all don't fall in the dumpster. Tons of sodas. Dr. Pepper. Right. I haven't been finding pop lately at all, so this is kind of exciting. Oh my gosh. anything else in here anywhere. Come some goldfish. More two liters. Some Cheerios. I think that's it. Alright guys, we are at the next DG. And there's nothing. It's the same stuff that was in here the other day. I only have a few more left to check but um let's put it in drive shannon <laughs> i have to take kylie to gymnastics my hubby is gonna take ava to hers they go at different times so when i take kylie there is a dollar general right down the street from their gymnastics place usually it's good let's hope <laughs> it's good today all right guys last dumpster of the day well, for now. Oh, and there's nothing. Okay, guys, we are at the DG by my girl's gymnastics. I have Ava with me, because I had to pick her up. So she's gonna be my camera girl if there's any goodies in here. It's not looking good. Oh, what's this? Oh, are they all broken? This would have been cute too. Are those Takis in there? Oh, they are. We'll take those. We got a Takis mix. We'll take all these. Oh, here's another box of Takis. Oh, <laughs> I found more stuff, guys. Here, Eva. Thanks, stink. Oh, and we got another case of Takis. A mystery bag that has cereal in it and some more talkies. That's okay. Thanks. And look who just pulled in. That would be the police. <laughs> Every time I'm here. Didn't say a word to me. <laughs> I am bringing in all of the stuff from this past dive. Before I can finish doing that, Tara just texted me. She is on her way here to pick up some donations. So let's get all those donations out into the garage or maybe no. I'm gonna bring everything from the last dive in here first, and then we're gonna take all this stuff for Tara to pick up out into the garage. So let's do this super quick, and then we'll get to the full reveal. <laughs> I really need to go to the gym or something. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am so out of shape. running out of room. So now we got to start taking some of the stuff for Tara to pick up out now so that I have room to bring the rest in. It's always a good thing though when you're running out of room because you have so much to donate. So can't complain. <laughs> I'm getting stuck everywhere. That's a workout. 
Tara has been here. She picked up all of the donations. I finally have a somewhat, <laughs> somewhat normal game room again for a short period of time, of course. But I do have your donations over in the corner, so be prepared for a live donation opening. If not later on this week, I think today is the 9th, then it will be Saturday or Sunday this coming weekend. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you all so very much again. I am truly so grateful for each and every one of you. Not only those that send donations, but for you guys watching my videos. You know, this has become a very big passion of mine. I am trying to make a difference and little by little, I think we're getting to that point. I'm gonna stop flapping my gums, flip y'all around, give you a quick overview, and then we're gonna find out what's in these two grab bags. I found a few bottles of the Purell Surface Sanitizer and two huge bottles of hand sanitizer. And just like those rolls of toilet paper, I have no idea why they were thrown out, but they were. So these were actually for their print shop. I guess you could make a puzzle piece out of a picture. And then this was the tin that you would put the puzzle pieces in. And you could use these for a jewelry box. You could do all kinds of things. Put your sewing supplies in here. We also went to a Rite Aid and of course found a massive amount of Kit Kats. These on clearance for $2.99 per bag. We have almost $100 worth of chocolate. Also, I told you guys I found something in the box underneath those. It was these toy cars. These are going to be a fabulous donation. All of this soda, which let me break it down for you real quick. One 20 ounce bottle of Sprite at the DG is $2.35 for one of these. The two liters back there are $3 a piece. The 12 packs are $8.50 per 12 pack. That's a lot of money that's just thrown in the trash each and every day by hundreds of thousands of Dollar Generals. Like these cookies, $2 each just for the Clover Valley cookies. $5 each for the family size Golden Oreos. I mean, if you add all of this up, it's just an astronomical amount of money. I know how expensive groceries are. I can't even imagine struggling being like a single mom and having to pay for groceries and then seeing all of this in the trash. Oh, that would just burn my biscuits. I mean, it burns my biscuits now and I'm not a single mom struggling, but if I were to be, it would burn my biscuits even freaking more. A four pack of Kool-Aid jammers. And then back there we have some goldfish, some spray bottles, and then the little stove, um, what are those things called? Like the... <laughs> You know, you put your like slotted spoon or whatever on those things that's on your, you get it. Right, let's find out what is in these two grab bags. This black one that I pulled out of the first DG weighs like 40 pounds. So let's find out. In bag number one, Fruity Pebbles, poster light set, open talkies that we will throw away, a little sponge, nicotine lozen lozenges, Wow, that's a hard word for me. <laughs> it shouldn't be, but it is. I love airheads. I'm keeping these. <laughs> Dial vanilla honey soap with a broken lid. Lime, banana, coconut, and mango Weiler's Light. That doesn't even sound good. <laughs> Full bottle of Listerine. Some Prilosec OTC. You guys know this stuff ain't cheap. Two packages of Sweet Tart Ropes. And that is it in that bag. And in the last bag, this thing weighs a million pounds and I struggled my dang butt off trying to get it out of that dumpster. I was riding the struggle bus that day. I ride the struggle bus every day. Let's be serious, but you know, whatever. Anyway, foil pans. Ooh, temptation treats for cats. Oh my word. Now I know why this bag was so heavy. Holy flipping candy. Jolly Rancher Bites. Sour Patch Kids, bunch of Happy Cherries, a Wiffle Ball, some Metamucil Fiber Gummies, Laxatives, Tootsie Fruit Chews. I love these. These are so good. I might have to keep these too. <laughs> we have more of the Happy Cherries, a bunch of these. Sour Streamers, 
a light bulb, a ton of sour gummy creations. Oh my gosh, there is so much candy in here, guys. Just tons and tons. Big Chewy Nerds, watermelon Sour Patch Kids, a couple bags of those. Oh my gosh, so many bags of candy in here, guys. It is crazy. We have a open bag of flour, which of course I will get rid of. More candy. We got Sweet Tart Giant Chews, Sweet Tart Chewy Fusions, Cheez-Its, Toilet Scrubby, which I think I have one back there too I forgot to tell you guys about. A, another, a spoon rest. That's what these things are called. Blue Raspberry Sour Patch Kits, a bunch more candy, and some construction paper. And that, my friends, is everything. So that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me at the dumpsters. And today in the reveal, I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. I don't know what's going on with my voice. It sounds like I'm losing it. So I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> anyway, happy diving. Bye, guys. <laughs>